Hi, this is Jeff Schroeder. I'm the faculty sponsor for WAVE, and this video is for anyone who's expressed an interest in what WAVE is and who can join and what you might do uh, when it's scheduled or even the fee structure. So if you're a student, a parent, or anyone who's just curious, please watch this video. I'll try and keep it short. Describing WAVE is a bit of a challenge because it is a very dynamic uh, club with many, many working parts and pieces. But if I was to kind of sum it all up, I'd say it is a uh, STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math, applied sciences club in which we use the lens of a space flight, a simulated space launch to uh, access all of those wonderfully creative disciplines. Um, the way it works is this, we meet Tuesday afternoons from three o'clock until four o'clock, and we'll have nine of those meetings in preparation for our two-day uh, mission. And the mission is best described as an in-school field trip. The students will be here present in this room and they will not be going to their classes. Instead, they'll be conducting the actual mission itself in which our student astronauts will be going to a designated uh, location. That might be the moon, Mars, Europa, asteroids, wherever we have determined for that mission. And each team will have prepared up to four separate activities, whether they're science experiments or operating robotics or anything along those lines, and that is when we carry out all of those activities. Um, that two-day mission will be only during academic hours. The students will come at the beginning of the day, they'll leave at the end of the day, unless they are astronauts, and if they're astronauts, they get to sleep over inside that vehicle that you see behind me. They will be fully supervised at all times by a faculty sponsor who is trained uh, in all of any medical concerns that might be out there, including um, uh, allergies or timed medicines, and and they can be reached 24 hours a day via cell phone. Um, anybody is welcome in WAVE, whether you're a first time sixth grader, seventh grader, or eighth grader, or if it's your fifth mission, just join. There is no, uh, there's no criteria by which you need to qualify for WAVE. Um, the club itself is organized in a hierarchical fashion with students at leadership positions at all positions, including club leadership. It is a very dynamic and challenging position, and that's reserved for those students who have run uh, the mission several times, uh, run the WAVE club several times, and know what they're doing. Um, it is quite a challenge and extremely rewarding. Uh, to be an astronaut, you need to have done uh, three rotations through the club. Uh, generally, that works out as eighth graders getting that privilege, but we have in the past had some seventh graders who have been very interested and have qualified for astronaut as well. The teams that I offer are very, very diverse. We have applied sciences team, as I indicated, we have engineering, we have um, biology, geology, ex, uh, extrasolar and extraplanetary geology. Sometimes, as you can see in the background, we have uh, our wave dog with us, um, though if there are allergies there, um, that's not a concern. The dog can be kept uh, off-site. Um, and all of those teams uh, also include uh, some of the humanities as well. So you're going to see uh, art teams, uh, journalism teams, uh, outreach and hospitality teams, and of course, our student leadership team. Um, any leadership position is going to require an interview. Those are conducted during the school hours, during the lunch periods, and there's going to be a link there uh, right on this page to help you sign up for those, as well as a link to the mission page, which will give you a very in-depth look at all of the positions, what are the roles, what are the responsibilities, and all that stuff. So I encourage all students who are interested to stop by on that first mission and see if you can see yourself joining WAVE. Everybody is welcome, everybody has a place in WAVE, and our first, second, and third goal is that everyone finds it enjoyable, uh, rewarding, and they see themselves uh, as a valued member of our club. Thanks, and I hope to see you at the first meeting.